this video I'll show you some things to do with the Lightorama software suite the very first time you use it after having installed it. Uh, you can install it via the installer that you download from the Lightorama website or via a CD with Lightorama on it. Um, now I already have Lightorama set up on this computer, or installed on this computer, uh, but I haven't yet used Lightroom on this computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to my computer start menu and then all programs and there should be a Lightroom entry in here. If you click on that to open it up it shows a whole bunch of Lightroom programs. The one that you want to start up is the Lightroom control panel. So I'll start that now. This is the first time that I'm using Lightroom so it opens up a little dialog to uh, step me through some initial setup that we'll have to do. I'll click Next here, and uh, this screen just asks me where I want to store my Lightorama data, such as sequences and audio files, and it gives a suggestion for a default. I'll just accept that default and uh, click on Next, and then I click on Finish for it to uh, do all of its work. After that, this unregistered version message comes up. Now this means that I don't have a license key registered for Lightorama on this machine. You can use Lightorama without a license key, but it'll be in a sort of demo mode where you won't be able to actually control your lights. But you can still play around with the program and build sequences and lots of different things to get a feel for Lightorama. And, uh, then after you've decided that you do like the program and you want to, to, to actually use it to control your lights, you would then go out and buy a license key. Um, I do have a license key already, so it's asking me if I want to register right now, so I will click on Yes, and that opens up a registration dialog. It asks for your name and license key, and uh, you have to type these in exactly as they're shown in an email that was sent to you shortly after you purchased the uh, li your Lightorama license. And uh, so I have a copy of that email here, and I said that you have to type them in exactly as shown, but that's not really t true. You can f copy them and paste them. And that could be a lot easier, especially in the case of the license key. So I'll do that now. And I'm about to click on register, but before I do that, I just want to mention that in order to register in this manner, your computer has to have access to the internet. If it doesn't have access to the internet, uh, you may want to give it access to the internet, <laughs> but if not, um, there's another way to register, which is this need to register offline, click here, and that'll step you through an alternate method of registering, which doesn't require access to the internet. That's beyond the scope of this video, but I just wanted to mention it. This uh, computer does have access to the internet, so I'll click on register. And it takes a moment and then tells me that I have registered. And in fact, I have the advanced edition. Uh, my license is for the advanced edition. And I might have to close and reopen Lightorama to enable all the new features. But uh, I'll just click on OK right now. And it tells me that Lightorama is running in my system tray. Uh, what does that mean? This area down here in your computer, on the lower right-hand side of your computer screen, is called your system tray. And Lightorama is one of the icons in it. Specifically, it's this light bulb icon right here. So that's what it means by Lightorama is running in your system tray. So I'll click on OK to get rid of that. I'll also close this email out just to get it out of the way. And now let's look at the Lightorama icon in your system tray. If you right click on it, it opens up a big uh, pop-up menu with a whole bunch of different options. Uh, some of the options near the top are a bunch of different uh, programs in the Lightorama software suite. If you click on one of these, it'll open up that particular program. For example, the hardware utility is something that you would use to configure and test your hardware, your Lightorama controllers for example. Um, the sequence editor you would use to uh, create sequences to se synchronize lights with your music. Or you could also purchase uh, uh, pre-built sequences. Um, you would use the visualizer to uh, 
get an idea of how the lights will look on your house while a sequence is playing. The show editor you can use to create a show, which is kind of like a playlist. It's a, a bunch of sequences that you want to be played. And um, then once you have a show built, you can schedule the show using the schedule editor. So you can say, for example, this particular show, I want it to play every Friday night, starting at 7 o'clock and going to 9 o'clock, or something like that. Now, uh, once you have all of that done and you're ready to go, you would click on Enable Schedule to get things running. Uh, for example, you, you could have built all of your sequences and your shows and your schedule. You could have built all of that in July, and then in thanks when when uh, Thanksgiving comes around, you could then click on Enable Schedule, and only after Enable Schedule is done will your shows that are scheduled actually play. And then let's say you really want your, your shows to run from Thanksgiving to shortly after New Year's. So when New Year's comes around, you click on Disable Shows gracefully, and your shows won't run after that, whether they're scheduled or not. So um, I think that's about it for this uh, introduction to uh, Lightorama and what you would do the very first time that you uh, use the Lightorama software suite after having installed it on your computer. I hope this helps.